That's the beauty of all of this. If you're brave enough to do all of this now, you're just going to have a free existence now. Like, you know, very shortly in this life, physical life, imagine that, just having a free existence even now. <laughs> And then when you pass, not having to deal with all this crap the majority of people have to deal with in their past. You know, when, when the Karen's finished typing the post-mortem journal, right, we'll send that out because the first six or seven chapters in that, he's just, you know, Lawrence of Arabia is just dealing with one emotion after another emotion after another emotion after another emotion. And, and he's just, uh, like, constantly overwhelmed by this process of emotional awakening. And, and you won't have to experience any of that because you've already experienced it now and you'll be in this space where you're already emotionally awake. And it's a beautiful space to live in. You don't have to feel, you don't have to feel constrained by anything. The truth is just freedom. It's beautiful. When you read what he wrote in the journal though, what I uh, couldn't help feeling was, I mean, he, he had no concept of the divine love path and the, the tiny amounts of gain that he made over years and years of effort, yeah. you think, wow, how fortunate to, to actually no, know about that yeah. before you ever get into yeah. those levels where, you know, just just the tiniest improvement in, in, in his consciousness took him so much effort and so much pain and he wasn't even within a universe of knowing about divine love no. or anything like that. No, that's right. So it's, it's really beautiful to know these secrets, really, right? Because they, they don't have to be secrets anymore. That they've, never, they've never God's purpose to, for these to be secrets. But they are, have become secrets because everyone wants to stay away from truth. Right? So if you come to love truth, what happens is that all of these emotions will just flow. You'll get into the state of bliss. Eventually you'll get into the state of abundance with God. It might take a few years. It might, you know, it might take five, next five years of your life dealing with emotions. In that process, you're expanding your soul, you're getting to know yourself, you're getting to know everyone around you truthfully. Everyone around you, every single interaction becomes truthful. Every single interaction, there's no lying that's going on, there's no disharmony going on. And then, and then as that building and building, you get into the state of a one where now you're in bliss, and everyone around you will notice you're in bliss. And they'll say, what do you got <laughs> that I haven't got? And they'll just be attracted to you because of that thing that, that has now entered you to the point of the one with God. And they'll be just drawn to you because of that. Uh, that's what's ahead of all of you. This, this beautiful place of truth and love is ahead of you if you're brave enough to confront the emotions that are involved with accepting truth yeah, and accepting God's truth. Yeah. Now, is this just a, a gradual... Um a sort of concept between where we are and where we hope to be, is it somewhere on that upper scale that you can say we are in that bliss or do you have to be right at the top? And if so, are there many, if any, people on earth living that life now? There's no one on earth living the life of, of at one with God mm. right now. No. Very shortly there will be. Mm -hmm. And many of you won't take very long. You, you know, at the moment you're thinking it's a long, long way, 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 right? Many of you will not take very long to actually enter that state. Remember, there's the spheres, right, of the spirit world. Remember that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the seventh sphere transition. So the seventh sphere is the transition into the eighth sphere, and that's when you're at one. You can reach that condition here on Earth right now by doing these processes of feeling your emotions, experiencing the truth, feeling God's truth into you, and being open and completely vulnerable <coughs> to all of your emotions. Right? You can get to that state within a very, very short period of time. Right? Spirits do it in the space of, like, once you're <coughs> dedicated to it all, do it in the space of our time in a few months, or six months, or twelve months. Bearing in mind, of course, there's no time there from their perspective. Right? They're immersed in the emotion. If you decide to immerse yourself in your emotion, you can be in this place of one 